Hi everyone, my name is Michael Daly. I'm the director for the Center for Research in Earth and Space Science, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the OSIRIS-REx mission to asteroid Bennu. For this mission, I was responsible for the Canadian instrument on the mission, and so I'm the instrument scientist for the OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter. So the OSIRIS-REx mission, the main goal was to go to an asteroid of a certain type and to actually grab a sample and bring it back to Earth for study in our laboratories. In order to do this, we had to really get to know the asteroid well enough to understand what kind of asteroid it was, what its surface makeup was, and ultimately get to know it enough so that we could safely approach a spacecraft to the asteroid, touch it, grab a sample, and get it back to Earth. Asteroids are important to study for a variety of reasons. These kinds of asteroids, like Bennu, are very primitive objects in the solar system. And it's our best way to understand the conditions in the early solar system, including elements of how the Earth got to its present state, like how we got water, how we got organic material. But also these asteroids represent a potential hazard for the Earth. And the more we know about them, the more we can study ways to actually mitigate those hazards and to uh, protect the Earth for the future. Many of us started working on this mission in 2008, and that included the development of the spacecraft and the instruments that went on the spacecraft. And we finally launched it in the fall of 2016. We got to the asteroid in December of 2018, and we spent a couple of years studying the asteroid before we could actually approach it and sample it in 2020. And finally, uh, we got the sample back to the Earth in the fall of 2023. Our instrument development was in two parts. So I put the concept for the instrument together in 2008, 2009, and we had to have the instrument uh, built and the detailed design done, and that was done by MDA and Optech. Our role here was to understand how we would use the instrument, how we would process the data, and to make sure the data well represented the asteroid. And so we had team members here in Cress and in Lausanne that developed software that took all of the individual measurements of the asteroid, of which we took 2.7 billion or more, uh, and to put them together into the most detailed model of an asteroid ever. The OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter, which we call OLA for short, had some unique features to allow us to map the asteroid as quickly and as accurately as we did. One of its unique features is to have a two-axis scanning mirror. What this did was to allow us to create essentially 3D pictures of the asteroid. This was important because our measurement rate was about 10,000 times per second, but the speed of the spacecraft around the asteroid was more like 10 centimeters per second. So if we didn't have a quick way of pointing the laser and directing our measurements on the surface of the asteroid, we wouldn't have been able to do more than collect a whole bunch of very, very dense measurement lines around the asteroid, but we would not have been able to create a complete model of the surface of the asteroid. This is really the most unique feature of OLA, the high measurement rate with this very dexterous mirror that allowed us to point those measurements where we wanted them very accurately on the surface. So OLA's responsibilities for the mission were uh, many. Early on in the mission, we supported navigating the spacecraft. We provided absolute measurements from the spacecraft to the asteroid which really helped the navigation team whose responsibility it was to get the spacecraft to the asteroid and eventually down to the surface of the asteroid. We helped them to speed up their process through these absolute measurements. Later on, we developed the most accurate surface topography of any asteroid ever. And this data was used to further refine and down select to the right sample site and to help understand the likelihood of getting the spacecraft to the surface and successfully sample the asteroid. Working on the OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter was really a privilege. It was an international team. The mission was led by uh, University of Arizona. It was a NASA mission. We had a great team at the Space Agency and a great team here at Lassonde. And what we were able to accomplish together was really wonderful. Well, the OSIRIS-REx mission really uh, finished with the return of the sample to the surface, although we have some follow-on measurements to do to fulfill all our promises uh, to NASA and the Canadian Space Agency for the study of the sample. However, we did such a good job around Bennu, we didn't use all the fuel in the spacecraft, so we've sent the spacecraft to another asteroid called Apophis, 
So there's another mission to follow and we would expect the OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter to really contribute to that mission as well. The success of OLA and our participation in the OSIRIS-REx mission in general has really showcased the capabilities of Canadian planetary science and of uh, CRESS and the Lausanne School of Engineering in particular. So we've already seeded another mission. This is the OSIRIS APEX mission to the asteroid Apophis, but we anticipate the capabilities we've shown will open up other mission opportunities in the near future. <music>